Demystifying Pros and Cons, a key to critical thinking. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting episode of our English learning series. Today, we're going to delve into a crucial aspect of English communication, identifying and distinguishing between pros and cons. This skill is indispensable for participating in debates, discussions, and enhances your critical thinking abilities. In any discussion or debate, understanding both sides of an argument is crucial. When we talk about pros and cons, we are essentially discussing the advantages, pros, and disadvantages, cons, of a given topic. In order to make informed judgments or arguments, you must first identify and distinguish between the pros and cons of the issue at hand. Think of pros and cons as the scales of a balance, where you weigh the positive and negative aspects of an issue to come to a balanced conclusion. Now, how do you identify pros and cons? It starts with active listening and comprehensive understanding of the topic being discussed. Pros typically highlight the positive aspects, benefits, or strong points of an issue. These points support the topic or argument in question. On the other hand, cons are the downsides, drawbacks, or weak points of an issue. These points tend to oppose the topic or argument. One effective way to identify pros and cons is to make a list while listening to or reading about a topic. Write down the points as you encounter them and later, categorize them into pros and cons based on their nature. Distinguishing between pros and cons can sometimes be tricky, as a point that may seem like a pro can also be seen as a con when viewed from a different perspective. When distinguishing between pros and cons, consider the context. Think about who benefits or is harmed, whether a point is generally seen as positive or negative, and how it fits within the overall argument or situation. It's essential to analyze each point critically, questioning its implications and potential consequences. The best way to master distinguishing between pros and cons is through practice. Engage in debates, join discussions, or even practice with everyday decisions. For example, consider the pros and cons of living in a city versus the countryside, or whether it's better to read a book or watch a movie. Remember, there's no hard and fast rule to identify pros and cons, as they often depend on one's perspective and the specific context. But with practice, you'll get better at identifying and distinguishing them effectively. And that brings us to the end of our video on distinguishing between pros and cons. This is a foundational skill in critical thinking, analysis, and effective communication. With these tips and some practice, you should find yourself navigating debates and discussions with greater confidence and competence. Until next time, happy learning!